In our sticky tape lab, we looked at the different interactions between charged objects and uncharged objects uh, and different combinations of the objects. So one thing we found was that when we had a charged object and a neutral object, the two things attracted. So one way that we made a charged object of known charge identity was by rubbing wool on a PVC rod. We said that this thing gains a net negative charge and if we have a neutral piece of paper and we bring the two things together, we found out that the neutral paper is attracted to the rod and the rod is attracted to the neutral paper. We also found out that distance certainly matters. So when they're relatively far away, there's a little attraction. As we bring the rod closer, we'd see that there's a greater and greater attraction. We also found in our lab that the aluminum foil, the neutral aluminum foil, was also attracted to the charged object. Uh, here we have <clears throat> just a neutral strip of paper and a neutral strip of foil. And one way that we can tell to find, or we can determine whether they're neutral, is just find out if they're attracted to you. Uh, in our lab, we found out that neutral objects and neutral objects experience no electric attraction or repulsion. So if I take my hand and bring it close to the strips, looks like there's no attraction or repulsion, and so we know these two, these two things are neutral. Um, I'm going to charge this PVC rod with the wool first, so we're going to make the rod negatively charged. And I want to find out if there's, there's any difference in how the metal foil is attracted to this charged object and the paper is attracted. So let's bring it close and find out. I'm going to gradually get closer and try to increase the size of the force. You can see that the aluminum foil was attracted first, or it seemed like as this thing got to a certain distance, there was a greater force of attraction on the foil than there was on the paper. Let's just try it one more time, just to make sure that it's consistent. So charge this PVC rod negatively, and then just slowly bring it towards both the paper strip and the foil strip. And we can see very clearly that the foil was first attracted uh, before the paper was. So there, there seems to be a greater overall force of attraction on a neutral piece of metal or foil than there is on a neutral piece of paper. We're going to have to try to explain why that is.